Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about what you can do in case your quick access settings from Windows 11 are not opening or not working properly. When you open them, you only see a blank bar that opens up right here and no setting is appearing here in this menu. This is a problem that was reported by a lot of Windows 11 users that recently upgraded to this Windows version. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things that you can try in order to fix this issue. First of all, let's run the system file checker. Basically, we're going to run a CMD command that will scan for important system files for missing or corrupted system files, and we'll try to fix them. So just click on the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD, CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. And in CMD, you're going to have to type in the following command, SFC space slash scan now. Press enter and the scan will start. And as I've said, this command will verify the important system files. We'll see if there are any missing or corrupted important system files and we'll fix them. Just wait for a couple of minutes for this process to be finished and then you'll be good to go. For the second thing, we're going to run the DISM tool. So open the CMD again right click on it and then run as administrator. It is really important when you run CMD commands that you open it as administrator so that you give it full administrative privileges. In the CMD, type the following command, dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health, press enter. Don't forget that all these commands that you use in this video will be in the article down below in the description. So you can copy and paste those commands from there. Wait for this first command to be finished, and then we're going to run a second command regarding the DISM, which will be basically the restore health command. And after that first command is finished, make sure to run the second one, as I've said, dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Run this command also, and this will basically restore the system image of Windows 11. And if there are some issues regarding the system image, they will be fixed by running these commands. And when trying this, the quick access or or the action setter from Windows 11 should be fixed. As I've said, these commands can take some time, so just wait maybe for 15, 20 minutes because it highly depends on the size of your system partition. So wait patiently and then you should be good to go. Another thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna run a PowerShell command. So for that, just click on the search box again, type in here power, right click on PowerShell and then click on run as administrator on user account, click on yes yet again. And here in PowerShell, you're gonna have to copy and paste in the following command, which is this one. This command will basically try to restore that function from Windows 11. And if you run this command and you get this error, unable to install because the following apps need to be closed, Microsoft Windows Shell Experience Host, all you have to do, right click on the start button and then click on task manager, expand by clicking on more details. And then in the processes section, go down and find the Windows Shell Experience Host. As you can see it here, right click on it and then click on end task. And after that, press the up arrow to copy the command again and then press enter to successfully run the command now. After doing all these steps, make sure to restart your computer for the changes to take effect and then check and see if your quick access or action center from Windows 11 works now. If it still doesn't work, another thing that you can do is to create a new user account and that will surely fix your issue. But when creating a new user account, some settings maybe will not be transferred to that new user account. So just click on the search box, tap in here settings, and then open the settings app, then go and click on accounts, click on family and other users, and then click on add account near to other users. You can create a local account just for testing purposes. I don't have this person sign in information, add a user without a Microsoft account, type the username, for example, then click on next. And as you can see, we have here a local account. And if you want this account to be the administrator near account options, click on change account type and select administrator and then click on OK. Make sure to log into that new user account and see if now the problem is fixed. A last thing that you can do in order to fix this issue is to reset your computer, completely reset the computer without losing files in order to fix this. And this is basically the last thing that you should try because this is maybe the most complex one. So just open up the search box, type in here reset, click on reset this PC, and then click on reset PC, select keep my files, wait for a bit. I recommend you click on cloud download, click on next. Basically now the Windows operating system will be downloaded, and then you can click on finish or restart in order to begin the reset process. Basically this will reinstall the Windows operating system, and then all the issues that you had on the previous install should be fixed. I'm hoping this video was useful and you managed to fix the problem that you had with the actions 
Settings Setter or the Quick Settings from Windows 11. Don't forget that all the commands used in this video will be in the article down below in the description. If the video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.